so as you can see, we're in a different location today. Um, I was testing out different places in the house to see which has the best lighting, so hopefully this works out. Anyways, today I did a look for you guys, and um, this is like a smoky grayish color look. And um, yeah, this is what it looks like. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and take pictures, but if you want to know how to do this look so you can recreate it on your own, keep watching. Okay, so I'm not going to use primer because I'm going to use my Benefit Creaseless Cream Eyeshadow Liner. And this one's in recess. Okay, and it's this nice kind of nude base. It's a nice color just to kind of even out your um, skin, you know. It's a good base, and since I'm using this, I don't have to use primer. And the reason I choose to do this one instead of primer today, just because the color, the base color that I'm using is kind of light, and I want it to stand out more, and that's why I'm using this. So it kind of makes it pop out even more. Okay, so it doesn't matter. Just put it all over. Get some under here. Okay. So now we have that. You're just gonna take an all over, any all over shadow brush. Okay, and I'm using my NARS Duo Eyeshadow. This one's in Taiga. Okay, and it comes, it's a duo eyeshadow. And it has like this gold frost color and like a pewter grayish color and they're both shimmery but they're really really nice I'm loving this duo right now okay so I'm just gonna take some of this okay and then you're gonna put that all over your lid just go like this it's okay since it's really light you don't have to worry about going overboard and the shimmers aren't too dramatic or too out there and so don't have to worry okay just kind of blend up because you don't want any harsh lines okay so you have that base right there I don't know if you can see with this light because it's really bright okay next I'm going to take a different shadow brush it's kind of thinner, and I'm gonna take. I'm gonna go ahead and take this color. Okay, I'm just gonna do one swipe. Tap off the excess, and then you're just gonna put this in the crease, and use this color to define the outer V. So the reason I do one swipe at first is just so it's really light, and I can kind of outline where I'm gonna go because it's harder to take off because um, it's easier to add color than to take it off. So see how light it's coming on first? And that's good because I just want to kind of trace it so I know where I'm going. Okay. So I take a little more. Don't want to tap off any excess. So you're just going to keep building on that color. Just keep building on it. Okay. Just think it's easier to add than to take away. That's why we're doing it layer by layer. Okay. So this color just lines it right there. Look how gorgeous this color is. I love this color. Okay. So you're done with that. You're just gonna take the one you put, use the brush that you use to put the base color on and kind of just blend that out. It's a fluffy eyeshadow brush so it's also good for blending out the harsh lines. So you want to just clean it up a bit. Okay, that's what it looks like so far. Now, I'm going to take, just to give it a little bit more, you know, color and something different. I'm taking pokes and then I'm going to take that same brush that I, 
I applied that gray color. I'm just going to clean it off a bit so I don't mix the colors. I'm just going to take one swipe of this. It's a nice brown color. It's not showing up very well, but it's a nice brown color. I'm just going to take one swipe of that, and I'm going to put that on top of the gray color. Kind of lining the top of that, like so. Okay. And you're just going to do slow strokes back and forth like this, and that will blend it out. Okay. Now, I love putting these two colors together just because when you blend it out, it gives you like a nice brownish, it kind of almost looks like a plummy purplish kind of color, more on the plummy, but I love how it goes well together. You wouldn't think of putting these two together. Well, I didn't think of putting it together, but then I tried it and it looks really nice. I don't know if you can see. Oops. Can you see? There. I don't know if you can really... I'll take pictures, but it goes really nicely. If you can see it. Okay. And see it blends out. And then you're going to take a fluffy brush and just clean that out. Clean the edges. Okay. So now we're done with that. And what I'm going to do next is for highlight, I'm going to take a quad that I made on my own. I'm going to take this color right here, which is yogurt. It's a nice light pinky lavender color. I'm just going to put, get some, and that's going to be your highlight. So you're just going to put that all along the brow bone. And it blends it out nicely so that there's no harsh lines. I love this color for highlight. Just bought it too. I love it. Just grab a little more. Okay. Okay. And that's all. So I'm done with that shadows. Now I'm just gonna take my CoverGirl exact liner. Okay, and I'm gonna line my eyes. I'm just gonna so I just line my eyes with eyeliner. And I already used the pencil for the waterline. Okay. And you are done. So that's the look I have. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I already put um, blush on my cheeks. I'm just using Max Gingerly Blush. And on my lips is my Maybelline's Barely There lipstick. Okay, since your eyes are already kind of smoked out, you don't want to go crazy with your lips. But what I love about this color is that it matches the brownish color in the eyeshadow. And so that's the look. Um, I'll put up pictures and hopefully you guys enjoyed this look and I will see you next time. Bye!